good day everyone our interaction today will focus on direct and indirect speech first at the end of this lesson you should be able to a identify the difference between direct and indirect speech b use the right verbs the right tense and all the components learned in making indirect speech c apply the knowledge acquired to develop techniques for using dialogues in storytelling and for using indirect speech effectively in english language there are two ways of passing across what someone has said to another person. When the original listener wants to convey what he has heard to another person, he can do so by using direct or indirect speech. Listen to two students, Shola and Kola, as they tell you what their teacher had told them. Teacher, Toshola and Kola, I want to rest for a while. The teacher said, I want to rest for a while. Direct speech, Kola. The teacher said that she wanted to rest for a while. Indirect speech. We will start with Shola's speech which is an example of a direct speech. Have you observed certain features in a speech? Sure, there are features of a direct speech which are informed by the rules guiding the use of direct speech. In essence, we are discussing the rules by illustrating with features observed in the speech the features one after the other one shola uses the exact words of the speaker i want to rest for a while we can then say that a direct speech is the exact or actual words of the speaker the person conveying the words of the original speaker becomes the first person at the time. She marks off or separates the exact words of the speaker by quotation marks or inverted commas. Note, you are at liberty to use double or single quotation marks, but you must be consistent the direct speech must be closed with the type with which one opens it. If you open with double quotation marks, you must close with double quotation marks. If you open with single quotation marks, you must also close with single quotation marks. The teacher said, I want to rest for a while. The same direct speech brought in single quotation marks. Look at this again. I want to rest for a while. The same direct speech, but this time around, single quotation marks are used. We'll take it off from here after the break. We continue with the third feature. The actual words of the speaker are usually introduced by a reporting verb, like said, replied, remarked, asked, and so on. The teacher said, Olu replied, my mom asked, etc the reporting verb 
is followed by a chroma to separate the verb from the words of the speaker. The teacher said, comma, before the quoted words, I want to rest for a while. More examples of direct speech. John said, I know the answer, but I won't tell you. This program has been my saving grace, remarked the student. The woman asked, how will they get there? We now move to indirect speech. An indirect or reported speech refers to the words of a speaker as reported by someone else. In indirect speech, the original speaker becomes the third person while the person reporting what the original speaker said is the first person and the person to whom the speech is reported is the second person. Just as we did under direct speech, we will discuss the rules of indirect speech using caller's speech and other examples for illustrations. The teacher said that she wanted to rest for a while. The first thing you observe here is that the quotation marks or inverted commas are no longer in use in indirect speech. Another thing is change of pronoun. Some pronouns change in the reported speech, as in the example above. I is replaced with pronoun she, which could also be he. In some other cases, we is changed to they. Pronoun you is changed to pronouns I, she, he, we, or they, as the case may be. Examples. We are done with the assignment, said Cole. Cole said that they were done with the assignment. Here, pronoun we is changed to they. Can you drive a car? Asked the manager. The manager asked if I could drive a car or the manager asked whether I could drive a car. You is changed to pronoun I. Note the pronouns they, he, she, and it do not change in the reported speech. Examples. My mom said they are not with me. My mom said they were not with her. It is my brother's football, shouted the boy. The boy shouted that it was his brother's football. Pronouns they and it remain the same in the indirect speech above. We'll resume shortly. Welcome back. The next stage is to examine the change of verbs in the indirect speech. First, the tense of the main verb changes from present tense to past tense. In caller's speech, the main verb wants is changed to wanted, past tense, in the reported speech. More examples. Olu said, I am not feeling well. Olu said he was not feeling well. 
The present continuous tense I'm feeling is replaced with was feeling the past continuous tense by changing the arm which is present to was its past form. I will go to Lagos tomorrow, said Dan. Dan said he would go to Lagos tomorrow. Will present and expressing future action changes to would in the reported speech. Note, tomorrow can be replaced with the next day or the following day. We have been teaching for 15 years, chorus the teachers. The teachers chorus that they had been teaching for 15 years. Here, the present perfect continuous tense had been teaching changes to past perfect continuous tense had been teaching. The author has written only five books, replied Bola. Bola replied that the author had written only five books. The verb has changes to had past tense. So the present perfect tense has written becomes past perfect tense had written. Here the tense of the verb is past. It changes to past perfect tense. The woman said, I met the Honorable Commissioner. The woman said she had met the Honorable Commissioner. Add is added to met. To make the tense in the indirect speech a past perfect tense had met. If the verb in the direct speech is already in the past perfect tense, it does not change in the reported speech. The train had left the station before I got there, lamented Udrak. Udrak lamented that the train had left the station before he got there. The indirect speech retains the past perfect tense had left used in the direct speech. Some modal verbs do not change in the reported speech. These include must, should, could, might, ought to. You must submit the assignment, said the mathematics teacher. The mathematics teacher said that we must submit the assignment. My friend said, I ought to start preparing for resumption. My friend said that he ought to start preparing for resumption. If the verb in the direct speech expresses a universal truth, the tense does not change in the reported speech. The earth revolves round the sun, said the geography teacher. The geography teacher said that the earth revolves round the sun. This is all we can take for today. Please take down the following assignment. Read the following extracts and write out in indirect or reported speech the three major functions of primary schools as written or claimed by the author. Primary schools offer the first organized education for children between the ages of 6 and 11. Through primary education, children are taught how to read and write. They are also taught how to count and relate well. Three functions of primary schools as claimed by the author in an indirect or reported speech. Bye-bye.